Hello, friends. I want to talk to you about a special uh, biblical foundation. I want to teach you three words in Hebrew, which is Evan Ma'asu Habonim. The stone which the builders rejected. It's an interesting thing we hear in Israel when we're trying to share our faith with our people. Uh, there's kind of a, a circular logic that says Yeshua cannot be the Messiah. Why? Because our great rabbis and wise men decided that he wasn't the Messiah and they can't make a mistake. So you kind of get stuck right there in the loop. And so what they're saying is since our people and our leaders rejected him, he can't be the Messiah. And what I want to say is no, actually it's just the opposite. Because one of the foundational prophecies of who the Messiah is, the requirement of who the Messiah is, he has to be Evan Masu Abonim. He has to be the stone which the builders rejected. If he wasn't rejected, he couldn't be the Messiah. In other words, it's not that our having rejected him makes him not to be the Messiah. Anybody that wasn't rejected isn't even a possible candidate. And this theme runs throughout the scripture. Yeshua uh, turned to the leaders in Jerusalem when they saw he was going to re they were going to reject him. He said, tell me, what does the scriptures mean from Psalm uh, 118 when it says, the stone that the builders rejected became the chief cornerstone. And he said that he realized, they realized that he was talking about them. And so what we realize is that uh, religious leaders in any generation have an investment not to let something new happen. So obviously when the Messiah would come, whenever he would come, it would be rejected by the religious leaders. And this, it's interesting, that also happened in the Hasidic movement in Judaism and in the Zionist movement and in the Protestant Reformation and the Charismatic movement. It doesn't matter. But whenever you, you go back, this great breakthrough of the gospel, well, of course it would be rejected in that generation. Another thing that's interesting is that, is that just as Jeremiah was rejected in a generation before the destruction of the first temple, so did whoever was the great prophet of the generation before the destruction of the second temple, he would also have to be rejected. Well, who was that? That was Yeshua. He was the great prophet who prophesied the destruction of the second temple. And so it was at that time that the Messiah was re be revealed. And as you know, when you look at it, all the great heroes of faith, uh, Joseph was rejected by his brothers. Jeremiah was rejected in his generation. Uh, Moses, when he came to save the people, they said, uh, Who put you as a prince and a judge over us. And you see that in, in every generation, the, the leader of the faith bringing a breakthrough is rejected. How much more so, obviously, is the Messiah. So when we deal with that rejection of, of our people not receiving the faith because they said, we couldn't have made a mistake for all these years, no, we say just the opposite. That is the profile of the Messiah. The definition of the characteristic of the Messiah. Number one, Evan Masu Abunim. The stone which the builders rejected. The Hebrew scriptures say, this is the way you're going to notice the Messiah. He's going to be a stone of faith. It's going to be rejected by the religious leaders of his day. And then he's going to become the chief cornerstone of God's building for all the nations of the world in the spirit. So I just want to release that to us. The stone which the builders rejected is, of course, the Messiah. And it is Yeshua, the son of David and the son of God, our Messiah and the Messiah of all Israel, who their eyes are quickly going to be open to see who he is. Father, we thank you right now in Yeshua's name that our people, our eyes are being open to know that our Messiah had to be the stone which the builders rejected. And it's proof, our very own rejection of him is proof that he really is who he says he is, the stone which the builders rejected. Amen.